Holly Werner from HorseChannel.com and our model today is Hawk. We're going to demonstrate some simple clipping around the face and the legs. See if your horse is used to clippers. You can introduce them turned off first and see how he reacts to that and then turn him on and see how he responds to the sound. And it's always best to not use the blades the first time you expose your horse to the clippers. Just run them with the backside down against his skin until he gets used to it. And if he's good for that, then he's ready to clip. We're going to start with clipping the muzzle area. So if your horse is accepting the clippers, then you can go start off in the direction of the hair and just kind of brush along the long hairs. If they have a little bit of a winter coat like this, you don't want to go too short because you'll leave clipper tracks in their hair. So just kind of keep moving around and get the long guard hairs off of their chin and their nose. The next area we're going to clip is along the jawline, so if you just run the clippers in the direction of the hair for a subtle trim, that'll just neaten up this area right here. It helps to have a halter that will unsnap along the jawline. And you can get started and just go with the hair, get all these long pieces. And that'll really accentuate your horse's face. We're going to do the bridle path. So you want to do usually about two inches where the bridle and the halter sit. Start at the front and run the clippers backwards for a nice close shave. Since our last horse lives outside, we decided to leave the hair in his ears alone as protection from cold and bugs. Uh, so our next model, Chance, we're going to show how to just tidy up the outside of the ears. The little tuft of hair that grows on the outside, you don't have to take all the hair out of the inside of the ear. Um, for most horses, even if they compete, just tidying up the outside is all you need to do. So you'll gently hold their ear shut so that hair can't fall inside the ear and tickle them and just run the clipper along the edge just to tidy up the little tufts of hair that grow out, mostly from the bottom. Next we're going to clip around the coronary band and we're just going to use these cordless clippers so that the cord doesn't get tangled around his legs. Use upward strokes to even out the long hairs that grow around their feet. It just makes it look a little tidier. So next we're going to clip the fetlock hair, which will make his legs look a bit tidier. So you can start going with the direction of the hair so you don't take off too much. And then come back up against the hair from underneath. Just work slowly so you don't take too much off at once. And you can come with the direction of hair down the back of the cannon bone. And then back up against the hair until it's all nice and tidy.